that's coming. Okay. <laughs> She's ready. She's still waiting. Get your I, have, I have a Redwood City specific forecast. Oh, Stick around for there it. You go. All right. Well, time now for the morning mix. I think a lot of people can relate to this story. Forget quiet quitting. Millennials and Gen Zers are working second jobs just to make ends meet. Mm. According to a new study by consulting firm Deloitte, nearly 50% of Gen Z and 40% of millennials have a second job. Cost of living is the top concern mm -hmm. for workers. Experts say it's not a matter of being young and just getting started in their careers. Bankrate conducted a similar study calculating that 39% of employed American adults also work a second gig on the side. And that makes a lot of sense for here in the Bay Area. It sure does. I mean, it is super exciting. I even have friends who work you I know, know so many. two or three jobs. And if you're not a two-income household, it's almost impossible yeah. to be mm -hmm. able to afford anything and yeah. mm -hmm. live a normal life. Mm -hmm. I, I completely believe it. Yeah. yeah. I was just going to say, I think also during COVID, a lot of millennials and Gen Zers, they begin to start their own businesses, whether that's mm -hmm. consulting or something too. Right. So, you know, aside from their yeah. primary job, that's something they can do too for that extra income. Yeah. And it makes sense too, especially people who are just graduating yeah. from college, come back to live in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. I actually know a few people, whether it be cousins or friends who are working two jobs mm -hmm. just to stay afloat. Millennials are way past graduating college. Uh -huh. That too. And still, that's still yeah. needing that second job. Yeah. It, it's a, just the reality. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about this story here. In an interview with Variety, Ryan Gosling clapped back at critics saying he's hey. too old to play Ken in the new Barbie movie. Hmm. I thought I might stay over tonight. Why? Because we're girlfriend boyfriend. To do what? <laughs> I'm actually not sure. <laughs> All right, well, Gr Ryan Gosling says, if you don't want to play with my Ken, there are many other Kens to play with. He then went on and explained to the upset fans that Ken's entire existence has been to just enjoy the beach and to be Barbie's guy. Gosling said, if you cared about Ken, you would know nobody cared about Ken. So your <laughs> hypocrisy is exposed. That's why his story must be told. All right. I like that Ryan Gosling is passionate about this. I mean, he plays Ken. Yeah. I don't think he's too old to be playing Ken. I don't know what they're talking about. Mm -mm. Shush, shush. Ken is if, the, if the roles were reversed and there was an actress playing Barbie and then people mm. were saying that to that actress, that would not fly for a second. I, so I he's got to stand. That. He's got to stand up on yeah. that. And he looks great as Ken. Y yeah, I actually want to watch the movie. Oh, I'm sure. so because excited. of him specifically, down. or just I, I am a big Ryan Gosling fan. Oh, okay. As far as the movies he's been in, I think he's a great actor. So mm. <laughs> okay. That is really why, because he's a good actor. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's a good-looking man. Yeah. I'll yeah. Say it. We yeah. know it's more than that. We it's go. cool, though. <laughs> well, I also would be interesting in, interested in seeing a documentary about this. Baseball and Bay Area legend Barry Bonds mm. is getting his own HBO documentary. The documentary will tell the story of Bonds' life before the game and continue through his 22-year career. Wow. He is widely considered one of the best players in baseball history. As of now, it doesn't appear the seven-time MVP has signed on to the documentary but HBO says that they're open to having him be a part of it. The doc is being executive produced by the same producers from 2020's popular documentary, The Last Dance. That yeah. right there is why I want to watch it. The fact is that, I mean, The Last Dance was mm -hmm. a series that I think a lot of us watch. It was really good. The one thing I will say, though, the fact that he... We don't know for sure if he's going to be a part of it. It's mm -hmm. kind of like that's the weird part. You know? I would like for him to be a part of it so yeah. he can kind of help, kind of tell that story, shape and share it, and shape yeah. it. Yeah. It's a but complicated it story. It is. So the fact that he's not in it tells me at least there's going to be some objectivity because yeah. oftentimes right. when people sit down with him and interview him, you've all they're always walking on eggshells mm -hmm. around him. I so can. it's kind of nice that it's going to be a little more objective. Yeah. I don't know. I want to see him in it, and I mean, you ha you got to talk about his time playing baseball afterwards too. There yeah. are people who feel he should be in the Hall of Fame. There are people who, who say feel he, yeah. that he does not. So I would be interested in seeing a documentary on him for sure. I think people, uh, Giants fans as well, mm -hmm. are going to remember him as a home run king always. But there is a... Uh, a lot of people who feel differently about it. Yeah. Him. Either way, I feel like it's going to be a documentary that we you, we got to see. I think it'll be yeah. one good to watch. Yeah. And it'll True be, that. Yeah. 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 So we're going to watch it. Yep. That's we'll watch it. it. All right.